Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome back to Foundation. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day, because I'm certainly excited to be back. I have an idea, and I'm excited to get to it. I'm thinking today, today might be the day that we start designing our monastery, because I realize we have this massive island over here, and I do believe we have the ability to get a couple of territories for free. So I'm thinking we'll get this one. I'm thinking we'll get this one. We'll get this one. We can then start buying, what, four more of them? To completely own this island? And I think I will. Okay, five more of them. That's fine. But now we completely own that island. And that seems like the perfect place to put a monastery. Because we could put it right in the middle. And then build out and around it. Put some houses around it. Put some farms over there do some different things over here we can basically sort of take our castle idea that we had once upon a time and we can put it on this island more so we make a lot we make a lot of polished stone in fact if we were to set up more stockpiles for it which i might very well do on this island we could make even more so that might be something worth looking into it might be worth looking into a bunch more stockpiles for polished stone but of course we are going to need a bridge to this island and i'm thinking i'd kind of like two of them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in i'm going to say that this let's say right here let's make that a little bit bigger that is no longer a reforestation zone and it'll, it's already an extraction zone so that's fine and then that's pretty much where i think our bridge should go now, I'm curious to see if I can get away with a stone bridge here, because it would look really nice if I could. So, let's see if we go stone bridge and I think right there. No, that's not right. We want to go stone bridge, I guess, right about there. That's about as good as it's going to get. But if we do right there and go straight across, it looks... Yeah, we can totally get away with doing that. So, that's going to be the first stone bridge that we end up doing in this entire time which i think is going to be awesome so we're going to do that one there i don't think we'll do one over here in fact we might not do another bridge until we get way up there because then i can get away with another stone bridge but whatever the case we'll start construction on that that'll actually get done pretty quickly and while that's going on i want to go in and make sure we have all of the extraction zones that we should be having we can also get more fishermen out here which i think will be a pretty good thing to do but we'll just paint all of this as per usual as an extraction zone so every bit in there and that should do the job we do have the ability to get some stone out on this island we do have the ability to get some berries as well so that's all very good news i am going to want to stay on top of i think the bread and the clothes situation because people are happy everyone does have clothes everyone does have food not everyone has housing but whatever I just want to make sure we really stay on top of that. I want to make sure that we're really, really locking in the uh, the production of everything that people are going to be wanting. So I am going to be keeping a bit of a close eye on that entire thing. I'm also slightly worried that that restricted zone of the Forbidden Land there might cause some issues with the Weaver. So let me just cut that off there. Let me just make sure that's back to being an extraction zone. And we could probably take reforestation off of that little bit. In fact, we should probably take reforestation off of the uh the sheep farms as well just to make sure let's just do that entire area just to make sure that we don't end up with a bunch of trees inside the uh the sheep farms themselves so there we go is uh, is this weaver's hut actually working it absolutely is so that's beautiful news i think we're okay i think we're probably okay to focus a little bit oh we don't have extraction out here either not that it's needed not like we're going to be you know gathering anything over here but i just want to make sure i stay on top of that so we'll get that done. Uh, we don't have it here either. So extract in all of that space. And uh, all of this space is sorted as well. So that's a beautiful thing. We are going to want to get these trees in here chopped down at some point. But I think before we even get there, let's maybe start looking at the monastery. Now we do have a bit of a hill to work with here, which is going to be honestly a bit of a pain. But I think I can make it work. We'll of course start with the, the abbey. And I'd like to see if I can throw another one on the back there. It's slightly higher up, which is annoying. But that right there looks to be about an even height. 
So then we can just throw some doors on. And we're just going to keep this... I don't want to say basic, but it's not going to be necessarily as huge as uh, as I'd planned to have it the first time that we sat down to do this kind of thing. Uh, now, I would like to throw that in the middle there. I'd like to raise it up a bit. And then we'll put a door on the back of that as well. So door C can probably go right there. It's about as central as it's going to get. I'm not going to go, like I said, not going to go too nuts with this. But I'd like it to, uh, I'd like it to be nice. So, dorms could probably be slapped there, but apparently they can't. That's fine. It'd be really nice if they could, uh, is that central? That's not central at all. Good lord. Okay. Uh, that's pretty good, though. So, let's get some dorms on this side as well. So, right about there. Although they're not, uh, they're not evenly, not even heights. Never mind. Never mind. We're not going to be doing that. Let's see. We are going to need... I'm keeping everything. We are going to need a few things here. We're going to need the apiary and the herb garden. So I suppose we can go ahead and get both of those right away. What is that floating piece up there? I've just noticed that. I've never seen that before. The herb garden doesn't have anything floating, but apparently the apiary does. That's... A little bit silly. And we could we could throw a bunch of apiaries in without doing the monastery. And actually, I might do that. I might build sort of independent herb gardens and apiaries somewhere. Might be a little bit of a better idea, too. So, uh, that's probably what we're going to end up doing. Uh, let's see. Can I snap this on? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Oh, there it is. Yep. Not actually the first time I've seen that happen, I'm going to be honest. Not the first time I've seen that happen. Huh. Okay. Okay. Well, that's... Oh, wow. That one, that was quick. That's that's probably not right, is what I'm going to say there. So, we're going to just leave that off for a second. As for, the, uh, as for the cloisters, I would really like to get a few of these in here. So, cloister sensors are going to go... Uh, I can't snap that there, unfortunately. That's a bit of a pain. It'd be nice if I could. Uh, let's see, cloister sensors. I mean, that one sort of has like a door on the back of it, which is interesting. Let me do cloister center there. And I'd really like to get this going through here. I just don't know if that's going to be an option. What about like a corner? Can I get the corner to clip through? Not really. What if the corner was to then go... Oh, I can only turn that way. Yeah, they don't have an inverted corner, do they? Okay, okay. So that... That doesn't really work. What if I was to turn the cloisters around, though? Is that an option? It is... Sort of. But not really. These don't actually have a snap point in the back, I've just realized. Huh. Okay, that makes it trickier. Okay, so this is kind of basic looking, but I actually really like it. I think it has the right look about it. It looks like it'll be kind of fancy. It's going to take ridiculous amounts of resources to make, but we we can get those resources. So I like to think we're probably probably pretty good to, uh, to build this. It does need a dorm, though, and apparently I haven't got one of those yet, so... Let's see where exactly I'm going to place a dorm. That's that's kind of the new question. I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking I could get away with there, but it looks a little bit strange. I'm thinking I could get away with here, but again, looks a little bit strange. I'm wondering, though, could I hide it somewhere? Is that maybe going to be an option? It almost works there. Very nearly works there. Almost sort of works there as well, actually, which I think if I raise that tower up, it absolutely sort of does work there. Bit of a weird spot for it, sort of crammed in there. The window's a bit, you know, weird, but I think that works. As for this side, I mean, that's not... I'm not sure if it's the same distance, but we're about to find out. Does that... That looks like it works to me. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Something's not right there. Oh, this tower is in a different spot on this side. That's interesting. I've just noticed that. There we go. So now the towers are in the same spot. We can raise them up a bit. Bring that one up a bit higher. I think they're about the same height there. That looks okay to me. That gives us a couple of dorms. 
And that actually looks pretty decent. It's, again, it's a little bit of a mess, but I I think I like it. I'm pretty sure the dorm on the left is higher than the dorm on the right, though. And I don't think I can fix that. So we're just gonna, we're gonna build it. We're gonna ignore the fact the dorms are different sizes. Uh, the bridge is, oh my god, my frame rate. My frame rate's just been cut in half. Good lord. Good lord. It went from like 60 to mid-20s there. Uh, this is... Okay, something doesn't feel right about my frame rate at all. That's that's interesting. Uh, this is actually just nearly done. It's interesting that it seems to uh, seems to be just you know cut away there. It seems like there might not be much in the way of uh, proper modeling, I guess, for the the stone bridge and construction. But that's okay. It is very nearly done. The monastery will be built in due time. But I think what I'd also like to do is go in here, go to Monastery, and I do want to get some apiaries. And we can just sort of build these. I'm a bit concerned about the part of it that's in the sky there, but we can just place these anywhere. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm just going to place an apiary right in there. And we're going to have to ignore the part that's floating in the sky. I'm pretty sure that's an important part of it. But we're going to ignore it. I'm thinking I might do the same with a herb garden as well. You know, just place a herb garden over over here. It's quite an interesting looking building for the area, but I think we'll do it. We can even put a custom door on the uh, on the herb garden. And we'll start construct Oh, interesting. We can't do that. We need we need a dorm and we need an abbey to do that. So if we were to go with this small abbey here, ah, we'd need a very small monastery here to do that. Okay. Okay, well that's that's workable. If I was to put a small, say, abbey right there, then put a dorm on the back of that, and the dorm is going to end up being higher up, I think, but that's fixable. We can just raise the height of the abbey up a little bit, which is a bit, it's a bit much for the area, but it kind of cuts through the trees and all that, and I kind of like it. We can throw a tower onto the front of this as well, just to make it look a little bit more imposing. In fact, the tower should probably be at the back, to be totally honest, and then smaller. Definitely, definitely smaller. But something like that kind of looks interesting, I guess. We can throw a uh, we can throw a door onto the front of that. We can throw some stuff on the sides. I'm not going to throw anything on the sides because this is mostly just for the uh, the apiary to uh, to exist. So the apiary can go, I guess, back there, sort of out of the way a little bit. And then the herb garden can go... We could technically stick it on the sides here, but that seems to be causing some slight issues with the tower. So I think we'll just sort of place this wherever we uh, we want to, which I think is going to be back here, possibly, or like back here. I think back there might be a good spot for it. So right about there. We can get our door as per usual. So the door... Oh, the door's going to have to go on this side. There we go. So I think that'll do. That can actually be built sooner than later. I'm a little concerned that we're probably not going to produce too much from the herb garden or the apiary, so we might need more of them. So I think I will throw uh, a second apiary just sort of back here. Just sort of back behind that one. And again, we have these floating parts in the sky. That's just going to have to be a thing. And uh, we can prioritize constructing that as well. I assume that'll get built before the other one, but that's honestly okay. That's, that's honestly not too big a deal. Uh, the bridge is very nearly done. Uh, we are going to want to uh, go in and get some restricted land here, though, because we don't want people walking up to it all weird-like. So, restrict that bit. Let's make that a bit bigger. Restrict that bit. And restrict that bit. So that they actually have to walk up to the bridge and go over it properly, rather than do something stupid. Like walk at it sideways and go over it. So we can do that there as well. And that'll just, that'll just help the bridge get used properly, which is really the goal here. It's also taken a really long time to make. I just realized that's interesting. Okay. Let's have a look over here. The land is actually getting cleared out pretty quickly. We have a lot of people assigned to construction on that. Good Lord. I guess we do probably have a lot of builders. And uh, honestly, we probably have a lot. Actually, yeah, we have a good number of builders. We probably have a lot of unemployed people as well, right? Yeah. So let's say you can be a builder. Let's say you can be a builder. And let's do two more just because, I mean, we can never have too many builders, I suppose. 
So there we go. A whole bunch of builders. And that'll hopefully get things done pretty quickly. Oh my god, that frame rate. It's kind of... It's when I come over here, the frame rate really suffers. Really, really suffers. I'm not sure... I'm not sure this is going to be a video worth putting out. I mean, technically, I'm recording in 60 FPS. But the game isn't running in 60 FPS, so... I'm not really sure what's to be gained by, uh... <laughs> like, I'm not going to explain my full recording setup, but... I'm not recording in the same PC I'm playing on, so the capture is... Technically, 60 FPS... But the thing it's capturing isn't even running. It's like it's running there. Not, you know what? Forget it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. It really makes no difference. I don't know how many people watch it 1440p 60 anyway. So, whatever. It's fine. Uh, this is looking like it'll get done pretty quick. I'm noticing that our clothes have, like, they're way up there. Bread was uh, at 700 a little bit earlier on as well. So it seems that the problems have been solved. I'm curious to see, though, we don't really have a stockpile of wheat anymore. So I'm wondering if we've kind of run into a sort of the opposite problem that we had before. I feel like there's a chance that we might just not have enough farmers now. We'll have to keep an eye on bread again, basically. That's pretty much where we're at, so we'll see what happens there. I'm also thinking we want to go in and say reforestation. Uh, let's just not do reforestation in this area so cut off that part cut off that part we can cut off all of this part and we can cut off over to there so everything in there is not going to be getting uh there's not going to be any new trees going in there and if they do get cut down which hopefully they will we'll have a nice big clearing for the very small monastery that we're building here at least small compared to the other one. Which, by the way, is it actually getting built? It is. There's people going over there with uh, resources, I assume. Yeah, absolutely. That's a lot of builders. That's a lot of builders. I guess they have to chop the trees down first. Man, that's going to be... that's It's going to be massive. It's going to look good, though. Once we get houses around it and all that stuff, it's going to look fantastic. Also, why do I feel like you two might be stuck here? Yes. So you two are now stuck there. I'm pretty sure there's no way to unstick you. And you're probably going to leave due to being unhappy. So yeah, you two might be having some trouble. What if I make you unemployed? Yeah, you're just... So that might very well be why the... Eh, that's going to be tricky. Yeah, those two are probably going to bring our happiness down a little bit. Uh, let's deploy my troops. As per usual, for a bit of free money, which, by the way, I've just noticed our money is nearly maxed out still, so that's lovely news. And this over here is, yep, still being worked on. How's the other monastery going? Let's take a uh, little look over this way. So, interestingly, the apiaries and the herb garden are all done. It's this bit in the middle that's going to be nowhere near as done. Can I maybe pause construction on the other one and just say work on the small one first? Oh my god, that's a lot of resources. Let's pause construction. They'll all dump the resources in there, then go work on something else. But good lord, that's a lot of, uh... That's a lot of resources. That bridge also looks really good. I'm actually really pleased with that. Oh, they're actually doing a little bit of construction as well. Okay. Okay. Well, best of luck to them. I mean, my stone cutters are going to be kept very, very busy for the foreseeable future. I'm thinking I might legitimately throw a couple of warehouses over here as well. These are going to be temporary, but I think I might do it. So, a warehouse right there, and a warehouse right there, and a warehouse right there as well. And what we can do is we can have traders from anywhere working on those. Because the idea is going to be, let's just bring, let's just have a bunch of storage for polished stone over here, basically. I think it's called polished stone. It's, uh, yeah, polished stone. So we'll get that all over here. That'll be really useful for this two and a half thousand polished, uh, polished stone that we need. That's actually really hard to say. Polished stone. I'm not, I think it's just my accent. 
I think it might just be my accent that's making me struggle a little bit there, but it's, it's kind of hard to say, I'm going to be honest. Definitely, definitely a trickier one. So I've been thinking that while I let this monastery get built, which, by the way, is going to take a little while because this one over here is still not done, but I'm thinking while I let it get built, I should probably go back to... I don't want to say back to my roots because that sounds a little more dramatic than it should. I want to make sure I'm doing what I started doing at the beginning of this series. I want to make sure we're micromanaging things. I want to make sure that we're making areas sustainable so that when we expand the town, which we're doing with this and which we're doing up this way, every individual area should be relatively sustainable. Now, that's obviously more difficult when it comes to things like, uh, like fishing, perhaps, because these inner tiles are further away from fish than these coastal ones. And it's tricky when it comes to bread as well. But what I mean is, on a very basic level, there should be a little bit of production. We should maybe gather some stone. We obviously want to gather berries. And we should probably probably be uh, chopping down trees as well. So, what I think I'd like to do is I want to put a couple of stonecutter camps out here. And I think, honestly, I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do two of them. I could get away with three very easily. I wouldn't be able to staff them, but I, I could do three fairly, fairly easily. Uh, now, let's see. What way do we want to do this? That way, I guess? Yeah, I guess that way works. So, we'll do two of the camps there. I do want lumber camps as well. So, I think a lumber camp in that little clearing there is going to be a really nice little thing. So, throw a lumber camp in there. I think I want one over here too. So a lumber camp right there. And I'm thinking I'm going to do one down here as well. So a little camp right there. Again, these are never going to be staffed, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to do some gathering just up here as well. And by, by never going to be staffed, I mean never going to be staffed anytime soon. They will be staffed eventually. We'll do two gathering huts up there. And then we could do like a wheat farm down here. We could do windmills down here. Like I think this whole area, this whole island should really be... It should have a lot of production on it, I think. Obviously, fishing's a thing we can do here as well. And I think fishing is something we should do here. So I guess we can do one. We can do two. We can do three. Maybe four. Five fishing huts along this uh, this part of the island. So five fishing huts right there will be pretty good for it. I think we could get away with a couple of windmills down here. And I think I will try and do that. Although my windmills usually... Well, I think they'll be okay here. So we'll go... We'll go one. We'll go two. Then this area could be farms or something. This could be... Once these warehouses are gone, which they, they will be in the future. Uh, once those are gone, we could do some wheat farms in there. But I think getting this island ready for, for working is going to be really, uh, really important. I want to put some markets inside of the monastery. I want this island to feel like its own little mini town, as it were. Ideally, I'd turn this island in, into the sort of center of everything, really. But that's obviously going to be a little bit tricky because the center is technically sort of here-ish. Vaguely in that area is uh, where the center of a town is right now. You know, I'm looking at this stockpile situation and I'm really thinking we need more wheat. So I think we're going to need to get another farm. I'm going to sort this envoy first though because, you know, money. Uh, but I think another farm is going to be needed. Ideally, we would just get more workers into the farms that we have, but there's no one nearby any of those. And we're not actually bringing new people in right now because of balancing, essentially. We want to make sure we have enough food and clothes for the people we have. Now, the clothes situation is fine. The berries situation is fine. The fish situation seems fine. It's the bread that has me worried. So, what I think we're going to do is we're going to take out some reforestation along the river. So, sort of here. We're going to go across like that and back like that. And I want to try and get two wheat farms in there. So what I'm going to do is sort of come down uh, like this. We'll go across and we'll go back. Now we're going to need to tidy a little bit of that up. But I think we're going to basically just have this go. Let's see. Take that bit out. I'd like to straighten that up if I can. 
Uh, something like that. Yeah, that's a bit better. Uh, so we're basically going to do this along the along the waterfront as best we can, like I said. And then down the middle, I'm basically going to cut it in two. In fact, I could probably cut it in three if I was thinking it would work. But I think we'll just do that. And that's just going to be two more farms. So to do that, we're going to go for wheat farm, which is right there. We're going to do one that is... I guess right there. It's a little bit low, isn't it? It's a bit weird. It's like the building is sort of sinking into the ground a little bit, but I guess uh, right there should do. It's a bit weird. And then uh, right over here as well for the uh, for the other one, and it's going to sort of, I guess, be tucked about there. Not sure those are ideal locations, but they are ideal in the sense that, uh, well, basically, we're going to, you know, be able to get plenty of wheat in there. We also do have woodcutters here, which is fantastic news as well. So that's going to help us to uh, chop down these trees as soon as that woodcutter itself actually gets emptied, which we're going to need to do. So I think I am going to throw a... I am going to throw a warehouse up here as well. And this is going to be where we can store some of the, uh, the chopped wood. So right about there, and we could probably sneak another one right about there. We'll get two warehouses in there to uh, store the chopped wood. We'll get the sheep farms going as well. We're really going to need to clear out all of the trees there to get the fields going, but that'll hopefully help the uh, the bread situation. Over here, it's actually looking like most of the construction is actually done. So that's that's good. That's that's a good thing. In terms of resources, we're currently sitting 412 on the, uh, the old polished stone there. And let's see. Over here, this is... Very close to being finished. We do need to bring over some regular old stone, but we have the glass in there. And it's worth mentioning, we are trading for the glass. So that's how that's been acquired. But this is still a priority. The glass is coming over. So this is so close to being done, which makes me really happy. I'm going to be honest. I'm really, really excited to get a monastery up and going because we didn't do it in, in, uh, in season one. We, we didn't, we didn't get it done in season one. We tried to do it, and then the city fell apart, or the town fell apart, or the village fell apart, whatever it's called. It's, it's a village, right? It's I don't think we can ever call this a town. It, te it only has 274 people as well, which, by the way, two of them left. The two that were stuck in the bridge actually left the town because they were, uh, they were unhappy, so they're gone. I'm also going to turn immigration back on, I think. I'm going to take that risk. I know I said that we were trying to balance this, but... I feel like we're going to need it. I feel like we're going to need it. We do have a lot of unemployment, but we don't have unemployment in the areas that I want unemployment. So, like, we have all of these people doing nothing, but none of them are doing nothing near where I want them to be doing something. Yeah, I said that without stuttering once. I'm actually kind of impressed with myself. I'm going to be honest. Uh, but we want them over here. You know what I mean? We want people over here. And I've got residential laid out for it already. And, I mean, reforestation is going to have to be a thing as well uh, over here at some point. But we have all this laid out. We have, you know, plenty of space for farm fields here. And I'm really excited about this too. In fact, I'm going to put the farm fields in already, even though they're not going to be used for a very long time. But I want to get these farm fields in here because I want to make sure this area is, uh, is ready to be used. I want to make sure that we can actually turn this island into something really, really good. So cut off there, and then we can maybe chop off little bits around here. We can uh, just chop off that little bit as well. And we can uh, just sort of go like that as well. So there we go. That'll be... I mean, that's going to be multiple fields, so we could maybe go... Honestly, we could probably go like this. So if we go straight across, that... Really didn't work at all. Uh, we might need a slightly bigger brush for that. So go there. Bring that down a little bit. Go there. What I'm thinking, though, is straight across about here. Right? And that gives us, let's say, one, uh, two. And yeah, I reckon we could go like this. So that will give us four fields down there and then another four up top as well. Which, honestly, is probably going to work out for us. Those seem like... I mean, that seems a little bit small. But that'll be four separate fields. We're going to need 
I guess, four separate... Sorry, eight separate fields. I guess we might need a lot of people for that. But I, I have faith, okay? I have faith that we can make this work. I think a little bit of reforestation between the fields could be kind of cool as well. So let's see if I can neatly do that. Looks like I just about can. Uh, that's, that's looking all right to me. Then we'll go ahead and do the same on the, uh, the vertical parts as well. Oh, the monastery's done. Fantastic. It seems we have a capacity for six monks and we concede a villager to the monastery. I'm assuming that basically just... I don't know. It's gonna just give them a, a couple of villagers? Sure. Let's do this. We've got two beekeepers, two herbalists, and two beekeepers, which seems fine by me. We now have... Br what was it? We have... Brother male 667. Interesting. Does it change what they look like? I'm gonna assume no, but it'd be hilarious if it did. Doesn't look like it does at all. But that's alright. We've conceded a few villagers. I'm wondering where that's taken them from, I'm gonna be honest. Little concerned that it might have taken them from, uh, from jobs that we had them doing. Let's just have a look at our workplaces. So... Charcoal burner is fine. I'll tell you what we're going to do, actually. This isn't a... Uh, this is a useful job, but it's not food useful, so we're going to fill that. Where's this fisher's hut? Let me go look at it. So this fisher's hut here, is there anyone unemployed can work nearby? Or work from nearby? No. Uh, this fisher's hut's over here. That's going to be a no. Market tender. So... There doesn't seem to be anyone nearby, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to throw someone in there anyway. Just because I think at this point we can't be as picky and choosy as I want to be. Uh, this forester camp here... I think we're just going to... I think for foresters we can get away with saying, you know, whatever. Just throw workers in there. Foragers are a slightly trickier setup because we do want them to be relatively close. So we can't do that. The miners, I mean, the second mine we probably don't even need right now. Soldiers, not a big deal. Uh, woodcutters, there's actually a lot, a lot of woodcutter jobs available right now. Carpenters as well. Soldiers again. Stonecutters, a lot of those going. Transporters, a lot of transporter jobs available. And then a lot of farmer jobs as well. And I'm thinking, honestly, I'm gonna make a point of maxing out the, uh, we've actually maxed out the farmer jobs. So I'm going to max out the farmers, even if the people aren't working nearby. I think we just kind of need to, to be totally honest. I think we just kind of need to, uh, to bite the bullet and just say, you know what? We need, we need these farmers. We need these people. We need them working in these jobs. And what can we do? I mean, we just, we need more, we need more wheat. Anyway, let's unpause this and prioritize the construction to see if we can get the uh, the larger monastery done here. I'm certainly hopeful that we can. Uh, we do have some resources across the uh, across the way from it as well. So it should be a little bit easier. It should be a little bit quicker to uh, get some of the stone in there. It is a huge task. It's an absolutely huge task to build this. But I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty sure we can do it. We have... So many builders working on this. I find it really hard to believe that it won't be done relatively quickly. So we'll see what happens there. I'm also really excited to get the island over there done. I mean, I, I kind of have an idea in mind for what I want. I want, you know, my houses in here. I want my, my farms down here. We've got our, wi our windmills over here. We could do a little bakery back here if we wanted to and have all that in one area. Our market inside here, surrounded by houses, sounds fantastic to me, so I'm really excited. We also need to do hunting. I realize we haven't got that yet. So hunting is going to be something to, uh, to look into. And I'm also realizing we don't have any storage for the, uh, the honey or the herbs right now. And we can sell those. Those are actually things that we can sell we can either go into uh to trade and we can trade the resources for example uh middle will buy honey for 30 gold northbury will buy herbs for 20 gold 
I don't think we need to sell them, though. I think we're making enough gold as it is to get away with holding on to it and selling it to our own people. We just need a lot of it. That's the problem. We need so much of all of those things, and we need so much production to make sure that we're sort of staying on top of it all. So, yeah, it's it's definitely a uh, it's definitely a tricky one to to stay on top of. But this, like I said, this new monastery I think is coming together fantastically. This island, I have a plan in mind for what it's going to be. And I'm really excited about that as well. So, ladies and gents, that's going to do us for today. It's another one of those weird episodes where on one hand, I feel like I've not done a whole lot. But on the other, I look at it and we have this plan. We have new farms going up all the way over here. We have a new, we have a monastery working. So, I think it's just, I think it is just one of those weird episodes where it's like, hey, did we do anything? Oh, yeah, we actually did. We actually did. So, that's, that's nice, I suppose. Um, I'm a little worried about the lumber camps here, I'll be honest, because I'm thinking it's probably not going to chop down these trees, which is a bit of a pain, but we'll get there in, uh, in due time. Ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. It's been my absolute pleasure as always, and as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye